Christmas miracles, and the owner of a Colorado company says he is living proof of one. Some call him a miracle man after he died and came back to life. This is in 2013, and he spoke to Denver 7's Jessica Porter about facing death and finding his purpose as the owner of Colorado Christmas Lights. Every time you see a light sparkle in the tree, how could it not take you back to when you were a kid just waiting for Santa to arrive? From the Stanley Hotel, shopping malls, local homes, and yes, even Denver 7, Colorado Christmas Lights has been illuminating the holidays in our community for 10 years. This company is not just about dollars, it's about giving back and making the community to be a, community to be a better place. It grows every year at least by 20%. Somerset McCarty takes pride in every light and display his company works on and attributes some of his success to overcoming death in 2013. It's actually a, a sudden cardiac arrest. I was headed to meet a friend and um, I was just driving. A man stopped to help and saved his life. His heart stopped for nearly 15 minutes. And he was able to start CPR and um, wasn't able to get anything, but he prayed over my body, my lifeless body, and he said, God, if you have a mission for this man, bring him back. If not, take him. McCarty survived, but it was several years later before he understood what that mission was. I prayed. I said, God, if you, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There has to be something greater than what I'm doing already, and I'll never forget, I closed my eyes and God said, Somerset, your purpose is spreading light. McCarty originally got into the Christmas lighting business to cope with his brother's death. He says the message he received through prayer changed his focus from bringing in dollars to bringing in joy. Not every holiday is great for everybody, but what can Colorado Christmas lights do is touch people's lives through our light. McCarty says he takes pride on his business's growth because he's able to employ more people and give opportunities. This year, he's giving back by donating a display to the Chautauqua Dining Hall near where he grew up, and he has one goal for the future. It's not so much about being the biggest. I just want to be the best. Jessica Porter, Denver 7. Wow, that's a great attitude. That's and great. listen, it is a big night here tonight right. at Denver 7. Colorado Christmas Lights is one of our sponsors for our holiday display. So in Somerset, he is live with Chief Meteorologist Mike, N <laughs> Mike Nelson, who is dressed for the occasion, Decked ready to out. flip the switch and turn the lights on, Mike. Somerset has left me to be in charge of plugging the whole thing in, which I think is a bit of a risk. But Somerset, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate all the great work that Colorado Christmas Lights have done on our building, but your story is just very inspiring as well. So we're thank happy you, to share that with you. So we got a lot of lights on this building. What's new this year? Uh, new this year, we changed the colors from all warm white to red, green, and warm white. Liking that. You had your whole crew out here a few weeks ago putting all this stuff. They're climbing up and down the building and everything. How many hours did it take you to put this together on our building? Oh, uh, quite a few hours. A little too many to count. <laughs> I know you've been busy lately, but we're really getting into the season. Are you ready to light this thing up? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to do my best Clark Griswold. 30,000 genuine Italian twinkle lights. Let's put this together right now and ah! Yay! Give me an eye by there. All right, all right. Beautiful. This thing looks great. Oh, my goodness gracious. And I'm a big fan of all this stuff. Somerset, it's a pleasure. Uh, stay safe out there with your crews, and thank you for brightening up all of our holidays. Absolutely.